afternoon, good afternoon. We say good evening to our Old Grove Church family. We say good evening to our Facebook family and friends. Good evening, um, Lady A, Sister Ada Thurman, um, 106.5 on the river in Demopolis, uh, Alabama. We say good evening to you all, to all of our sponsors, our listeners, and everyone that's tuning in. We, we want to say good evening to each and every one of you. Amen. This is a day the Lord has made. Um, the Bible said that we shall rejoice uh, and be glad therein. Um, suddenly it's a blessing to be here today. And I'm, I'm glad uh, for another opportunity uh, just to share uh, and encourage someone's heart today through the Word of God. And just have a few things I want to share today to encourage you uh, as we go through um, another week and uh, truly the word of God is what strengthens us uh, we need the word of God we need to feed on God's word um, for his strength uh, but before we get into the discussion of the lesson uh, let us have a word of prayer a wise and everlasting father we father we thank you we just thank you for being being God and all God all alone and we love you, God. We we praise you. We we admire you because of who you are, what you can do. We just thank you, Lord. You're so amazing in our lives, and Father, we standing in the need of prayer. So much happening around us, and trials and tribulations, and sickness and death, and all type of things are taking place, oh God, but we know that you're God. We know that you're God. And we know that you can do all things. And we know that there's nothing too hard for you. But we just want to say thank you. We thank you, God, for things as well as it is. You're so amazing in our lives, God. Father, we ask you, oh God, to give loved ones, oh God, that, have, that are going through bereavement times, God, that strengthen their hearts and strengthen their minds today, God. Father, we pray now, God, for marriages, God, and those that are going through, Lord God, and Father, those that are, those that are, oh God, that have a desire to give up and walk away from you, God, I pray, God, that you would prick their hearts, God, and they, they would turn back to you, Lord God. Father God, your word declares, oh God, David said, I, I will look to the hill from which come my help. My help comes from, from the Lord. And Father, help us to continue to look up toward Zion Hill, Lord God. And help us, Lord God, to, to lean and depend on you. Solomon told us in his word, God, that to, to, to trust in you, God, with all our hearts and lean not to our own understanding, but, but he said in all of our ways that we should acknowledge you. And your word declared that you direct our paths. Father, we thank you today. It's in Jesus' name. Bless your word, Lord God, that someone will be blessed and through your word. Someone be, will be encouraged through your word. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We uh, we want to uh, call your attention to a uh, foundation of scripture. Um, St. John chapter number 14. Uh, I'm going to look at that 27th verse there. Uh, St. John chapter uh, 14 verse 27. That's our foundation. We'll be We'll be uh, moving around just a little bit for just a, for just a few minutes. Just want to encourage you, encourage your hearts, and uh, encourage your minds today uh, through the scriptures. Uh, Philippians, I'm sorry, uh, St. John chapter uh, 14, verse 27 will be our foundational scripture. Um, verse number 27 says, it says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. 
not as the world giveth, give I unto you. He said, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen, amen. I'll talk about, talk about, I want to tag that uh, with the subject, true peace in Jesus. Oh, true peace oh, in Jesus. True, true peace. We all, we all, we all need peace. We need peace in our lives. And it's very important uh, for a Christian to have peace in their lives. Um, it's a lot of distraction, a lot of noise going on, a lot of talking, a lot of foolishness is taking place all around us. But through it all, What's happening around us and what's taking place uh, around us. We need that true peace from Jesus. Jesus was on his way back to ascend back to his heavenly father. And he said to his disciples, he said to them, and I'm paraphrasing, he said, look guys. He said, I don't want your hearts to be troubled. He said, you believe in God. He said, you believe also in me. He said, my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, he said, I would have told you. In other words, I, I, I got to I gotta leave now. My assignment is finished. And, 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 and I've done what my father has required of me to do now. Now I've i taught you all. I I shared with you. You you saw me uh, perform miracles. You saw me lay hands on the sick. You 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 you, you watched me perform miracles. You, you you saw me teach the word. I I took you to the mountain, and and and, and I taught you uh, uh, the, the beatitudes and how. Uh, how to conduct yourself and I taught you all of these things and I've done all that I noted to do for you now it's time for me to leave but don't be troubled don't worry don't 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 be discouraged because it's time for me to go back now but he said to them in verse 27 he said but I want you to know something before I go I'm going to leave you my peace. I'm going to give you my peace. I'm not leaving you, but I'm leaving my, I, I got to leave. I got to ascend back to my father, but, 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 but I want you to know I'm leaving my peace. I will give it to you. Verse number, the, the first thing, true, true peace in Jesus. Please, please, please listen. Because there's so many people that don't even really understand what peace is. Don't even really understand what, what, what true peace is. Look, true peace, we find, where do you find it? First thing, you find true peace in Jesus. He said it in verse 27. I just read it to you. I just We just talked about it. He said, I leave right here. Peace, I'm going to leave with you. My physical body won't be here, but my peace will abide with you. And I'm going to give it to you. He didn't say you have to earn it. You don't have to, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to pay for it. He said, I'm going to give it to you. In other words, true peace is a gift. Everybody don't have a uh, true peace because everybody hadn't received Jesus Christ. If you haven't received Jesus Christ, you don't know what true peace is all about. Look, look, he said, he said, he said, he said, I'm going to leave it with you. That means <laughs> when you need peace, it'll be there. 
I'm going to give it to you. It's a gift. Peter and James, John, and, and the rest of you guys traveling on this journey, this life journey that we live, you're going to need peace. Just accept my peace. Oh, I wish I had a witness here. And, and, and he said, I'm going to give it to you. But watch what he said. Not as the world gives. I'm going to give you a peace. But not as the world gives. See, the world can't offer you peace. But, 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 but Jesus says, I'm going to give you peace. And the way Jesus gives, or uh, he just wants you to accept him. But watch this. When the world gives, the world has strings attached to their giving. The world, the world have conditions and restrictions when it comes to their giving. Because if you when they give you something, their motives ain't no good. Because if, 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 if they give you something, let me hear, let me come in, let me tell you something. They looking for something back. They looking for something in return. Because they'll bring it up to you. Well, I gave, you know, remember, you, you had like, you don't forgot when I gave you and I did this and I did. They'll bring it all up. They'll bring it all back to you. But thank God for Jesus. Jesus said, I don't give like the world gives. We need true peace in our life. You're dealing with people like that that have done something for you and then they're going to throw it back in your face when a situation come up, when, 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 when they disagree with you. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the world. You expect that from the world. But true peace, you find it in Jesus. Jesus don't throw stuff back at you. He gives freely. And that's how he want us to be, is to give and give freely. But you can find true peace in Jesus. He said, I'm, I'm leaving now. He said, but I'm leaving you with peace. He said, I'm giving you peace. And all we have to do is receive his peace. Amen. So, so the first thing, first thing is, you find peace in Jesus. Second thing, listen at this. Second thing. True peace comes when you don't worry. True peace comes. See, number one, the only way you can have true peace is in relationship with Jesus. True peace, and number two, true peace comes when you don't worry. He told the disciple, don't worry. Now, number two, it comes when you don't worry. Too many of us worry. But we say we got peace with the Lord. True peace comes when you don't worry. Some of us worry too much. We worry too much. Some of us can't rest properly at night because we're worrying. Paul says, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Watch what Paul said. Paul said, be anxious for nothing. In other words, don't worry about nothing. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, he said, let your request be made known unto God. Listen. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, Paul says, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Now here's verse 7. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Listen. 
will guard your heart and it'll guard your mind in Christ Jesus. I told you earlier, too many of us worry. We worry too much. God will give you peace if you stop worrying. Trying to, we worry about too much. We worry about stuff that we can't do nothing about. We, you got to have, you got to find true peace in the Lord. True peace is in the Lord. Stop worrying about all this stuff. See, listen. True peace in Jesus will cause you to be worry free. See, see, the thing is, listen to me. We want peace. But we worry about everybody else stuff. Everybody else situation and everybody, what everybody else got going on. We worried about other folks being this. How can you have a true peace in Jesus? You worry about somebody else's house. And your house out of order. How can you, how can you have true peace when all of this stuff is on you? Even your own children. You worry about your children. Them children ain't studying you. They doing what they want to do. They going on with their life. And you laying there worried. Chest hurting, head hurting. How can you have true peace? We worry too much. Paul say, don't worry, pray. God of mercy. He say, don't worry about nothing. Go in prayer. In petition. He said, but be thankful. Then he said, let your request be made known to God. Stop calling everybody, telling everybody. Make your request made known to God. God of mercy. Then he said, then the peace. If you do all of that, when you stop worrying, and you go and you develop that prayer life, that consistent prayer life with the Lord, and you be thankful and grateful for things as well as it is in your life, and get your mind all other folk, get your mind all other folk stuff, and ask God to help you, help you. We worry ourselves to death almost about somebody else and what they doing across the road and uptown. Folks ain't studying you. Folks ain't got you on their mind. And you out here worried about them. Talking about them. You folks ain't thinking about you like that. You better ask God to help you to, 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 to get closer and closer with him. Old folks say it's getting late in the evening and sun going down. We ain't got time to be around here worried about other folks. Stop worrying. You done taught your children. You done told them. You brought them up. You brought them up in the, in the word. You brought them up. Uh, you, 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 brought, you took them to Sunday school. You took them to church. Now they're grown. They going to make choices. They going to make some bad choices just like we did. But it, Paul said, don't worry about it. Pray. Let your, tell God what your request is concerning your child. And I told the Lord, I said, look. I said, Lord, look. Don't let me worry about nothing. I said, don't, I, don't let me worry about nothing. Lord, when I lay down, let me rest. I want to be able to sleep and get my proper rest. Let me tell you something. That's what the Lord let, allowed me to do. See, he gave me true peace. See, when you got true peace, whatever going on around you, whatever's happening around you, whatever take place in your own life, God will give you a peace that will surpass all understanding. You know, some people, they'll feel like you should be feeling a certain way, but 
God will give you a true peace. Listen, that's a gift from God. When you think I ought to be crying and God allow me to smile, that's the life that we should live. Yeah, when loved one gone, yeah, we miss them. When loved one gone, yeah, it hurts. But watch this: when you, when you, when you're walking close with Christ, He'll still give you peace. He'll still give you that joy. And, and that's, 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 that's it right there. But it got to come from Jesus. Jesus told the boys, he said, don't worry. He said, don't let your hearts be troubled. I taught you. I spent three and a half years with you. You know everything. I, I, I spent time with you. You experienced some things. You saw. I walked the example in front of you. Now you know what to do. But now I'm leaving. But I ain't going to leave you alone. I'm going to leave you with peace. And I'm going to give it to you. But don't worry. When you stop worrying, peace will come. True peace will come. When your, when your prayer life is consistent in him, in Christ, true peace will come. When you're thankful and grateful for, for, for what the Lord is doing in your life and, and all that he's done in your life, you will find true peace in Jesus. But other than that, you ain't focused on Jesus. Isaiah 26.3 say, God will give you a perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. We got to get our mind on other stuff, other folks, and focus on him. You can find true peace. He'll give you a perfect, complete peace if you keep your mind stayed in the Word, meditating, in your prayer life. True peace will come in your life. We need peace. And I hear people all, I don't want nobody to disturb. How are people going to disturb your peace if you in Jesus? Ain't nobody going to disturb mine. I don't care what they say, what they do, how they feel, how they look. It don't make no difference. I don't care. You can look, you can roll your eyes, you can do what you want, you can say what you want, you can put whatever on Facebook. It don't matter. My peace will remain. And that's how we got to live. So the first thing, you'll, you find peace in Jesus, true peace in Jesus. Second, true peace comes when you don't worry. And and finally, I'm going to leave y'all alone with this one. I'm going to leave you alone. There's so many, it's so many others, but I'm going I'm to just give you three. The third thing is, listen at this. We were called. We were created to live in peace. And that's the truth. We as Christians... We were called and we were created to live in peace. You got to be born again. You got to, you have to have that relationship with Christ like that. You have to be walking upright with Christ to have that true peace. We were created to live in peace. We as Christians ain't got no business walking around with our heads hung down. Worried, going to the emergency room with our, with, with our blood pressure sky high, worried about this and worried about that and how we going to do this. And do. He didn't create us. He didn't call us to that. He created us to live in true peace. Paul said something in Col Colossians chapter 3, around the 15th verse. He says this. He says uh, in the New Living Translation, let the peace that comes from Christ, he said, let it rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. He called us 
to live a peaceful life. He called us to be grateful. He created us to be grateful. God wants us to have peace. He wants us to have peace in our lives. But you have to have a relationship with him in order to have peace. Now, going to church on a Sunday morning, sitting in the building for an hour, 15 minutes, and leave there and haven't received anything from Christ, don't get it. George Dean said it's not enough to go to church on Sunday morning. Now, I'm telling you, you need to go to the building to get the word, to be fed by the word of God, but you have to apply it to your life. But Jesus calls us, and he, crea they cre he created us to have peace in our life. Shouldn't any and everything besets us so easily. The Bible said, let every sin and weight that so easily besets us, he said, lay it aside. Lay it aside. We got everybody baggage on us. And these folks ain't studying you. They going on with their life. They're doing what they want to do. And you worried about them. Well, I, 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 I've been praying, but I'm, I'm kind of concerned by Sister, Sister Mary because Sister Mary been going through. Sister Mary, Sister Mary going on her life. Sister Mary down the road doing what she want to do. Sister Mary, Lord have mercy. And we're out here worried about Sister Mary. Sister Mary going to call you and, and, and dump all her garbage on you and go on, on to the party on the weekend, to the casino, and everywhere else Sister Mary go. And you out here worried. He ain't called us for, he ain't called for nobody to disturb our peace. He called us to have peace in our lives. When somebody comes to you about something, just pray for them. And you let it go. Amen. And the scripture says right here in, the, in, in that, it says, He called us to live in peace. Watch this. He said, and always to be thankful. How are you going to be thankful and you and you mumming and grumbling all the time. God don't want us to live like that. He didn't call us to that. He didn't call us to be ungrateful. He called us to be thankful. For whatever he blessed us with, he want us to be thankful for it. Whether the house, the car, the land, whatever the Lord bless you with, he want us to be thankful. Be thankful for whatever the Lord has done in your life. Whoever the Lord bless you with in your life, be thankful for him. Be thankful for your family. Be thankful for your church family. Be thankful for the job that he bless you with. At least you got a job. Be thankful for the food that he, he, he provided for you. Be thankful. The Bible said in all things, give thanks. Paul said, and I'm through, Paul said, Paul says, I've learned. That whatever state that I'm in, Paul said, I learned how to be content wherever it is. I'm content. And I'm there in my life now. Whatever the Lord bless me with, small, big, medium, whatever, I've learned to be content now. And I'm grateful for what he blessed me with. I'm thankful. That's my prayer daily. Thank you for everything. I'm grateful for the little. Just as much as the, uh, uh, anything else he blessed me with. I thank you for the small. Thank you for my mind. Thank you that I'm able to feel my hands. Thank you that Lord, you gave me an appetite to eat. Everything. I'm, I'm content. I ain't got to have what you have. I don't have to have. I don't have to have all this stuff. I'm grateful that I came up the way I did. I'm thankful the way the Lord allowed me to come up in my life. I'm thankful. 
I'm thankful for that. And being so, he allows me to have true peace. God will give you true peace if you accept it, if you receive it from him. You can't get it from the world. Too much accusations and too much, too, too much problems and go on in the world and dealing with people of the world and they got too much, they, they too much go on. And, but when you got that relationship with Jesus, he give you peace. Or he give you a true peace. I dare you to walk with him and walk with him for real. God bless you today. This is the word. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you now. We thank you for peace. We thank you for a peace, God. That surpasses all understanding. When everything is going on around us and everything is taking place in our in our lives, and your repeat, your peace remains in our life. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for this word tonight, God. That it encourages someone's heart. That only the only way that we can have true peace is you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, we love you, Old Grove. Hey, Facebook, hey, we love you guys. Um, Lady A, hey, thank you again. Sister Ada Thurman, we want to say thank you once again for, for, for allowing us to be a part of the radio uh, ministry, and we're, we're, we're certainly grateful for that. Um, and to all of your uh, sponsors and listeners, that always tune in. Uh, we're thankful and grateful. And I just want to let y'all know that I love you and, and, and uh, thankful for all that you do and continue to pray for one another and, and, and strengthen and encourage one another. When you have an opportunity to encourage someone, someone you always encourage that person. Amen. So y'all have a blessed day, the rest of your day, and, and continue to, to do what you're doing and, and in Jesus and Lord will truly bless you. Amen. I speak the blessing of the Lord upon you. The favor of God upon your life. In the rest of this week, you'll be blessed. And uh, stay safe. Stay safe. In Jesus' name. God bless y'all.